It's me again, you guys. Welcome back to another great episode, another great car, another great owner. Uh, behind me, we have a Volkswagen Wagon. Uh, medyo dad car muna tayo ngayon. It's a Tito's car, but at the same time, you can still modify it if you wish to. So, huwag kayo matakot na magmukhang daddy, magmukhang matanda. If ever you are planning to get a wagon, no, it's not. Because you can do a lot of things with a wagon. Just like with this car. So later on, uh, my friend, attorney Anton, will tell you about the story behind this car and the modifications he did para papugiin pa yung utong to. But before we move forward, you guys, please hit that subscribe button and that like button to help the channel out para yung videos natin uh, makalat sa or ma-reach pa ng ibang other, other car enthusiasts. So, thank you and hope you enjoy this video. And you have the best seat in the house because you're riding shotgun. Hello, good afternoon. I'm Anton Malamug. I'm the proud owner of this Volkswagen Golf Sport Wagon GTS. So this is a Golf uh, GT uh, Golf Wagon Sport Wagon GTS in the Philippines. Uh, we bought it in 2018, but uh, I think they. Uh, they started to import it at uh, around 2016 or 2017. Um, my car was one of the last batches that uh, were imported from the US. Uh, as you know, uh, there was a diesel gate scandal with uh, the diesel engines of Volkswagen. So their loss is our gain. So that's why uh, that was one of the reasons probably why Volkswagen Philippines were able to import all these cars from the US which were made in Mexico because of that uh, this again scandal. Well anyway, so this uh, this car is a 2 liter diesel engine and uh, it's a wagon. Uh, mainly the reason why we, well I chose, well, uh, why I chose a wagon was of course, familia na tayo, mayroon tayo asawa, mayroon tayo anak. So we need space, di ba? For uh, strollers, for your car seat, bag ng bata, yung mga gatas, yung mga dede. So it all fits inside the car. Because uh, usually, more often than not, people will say, ah, you should get an SUV, you should get a van. Well, that, well that's well and good. Uh, no offense to those people who drive an SUV. But for me, personally, it's just kind of weird. Kasi medyo mataas, di ba? So, bubuhati mo yung stroller, bubuhati mo yung bag, bubuhati mo Medyo mataas. So, that's the advantage of getting a wagon because if uh, because of the ride height. It's, it's, it's low, so you don't have to carry the stuff into your trunk. That's one of the advantages of it. Uh, secondly, um, it's, a, uh, it's a Volkswagen, so uh, it's reliable. Uh, so far, uh, in my ownership of two years, wala pa pong, wala pong nasisira. On wood. Um, the, since it's a Volkswagen, the interior also is very nice. If you compare it to other brands, uh, for what you paid for, uh, it punches well above its weight class. Kung baga, yung presyo niya, hindi mo iisipin na yung interior niya, hindi mo iisipin na, ah, ganito lang yung presyo pala nito sa sobrang dami ng features, tsaka nung interior, yung yung amenities, yung interior niya, hindi mo ma-imagine na yun lang pala yung uh, SRP ng kotse. So that's one of the main advantages of it. So we were able to get it uh, in 2018. Luckily, uh, I, uh, I have a friend, shout out kay Ryan uh, from Volkswagen. So we were actually trying to buy it earlier, pero lahat sold out na. Lahat, uh, lahat ng kasa, wala na raw Golf GTS. So luckily because of uh, Ryan, nakakuha tayo nung one of the last batches ng pagpatik. Second to the last batch na yata yung pagkakuha ko eh. Kasi early 2018 yun eh. I'm not sure kailan yung last batch nila. So we were, we were able to get it in 2018. And the color, as you can see, it's uh, midnight, uh, midnight blue metallic, I think. So it's uh, not so common. Uh, usually you'll see the actually ako personally we also wa I, I wanted to get the gray one uh, but from my friend's suggestion he suggested uh, you should get the midnight blue metallic which is eventually what I got 
Uh, naka panoramic, panoramic sunroof. Uh, of course, all leather yung interior. Then, uh, very, very good, very nice uh, sound system. The, the stock sound system sounds already very nice. It's uh, made by Fender. Alam ko yung Fender, gitara ginagawa nun eh. But uh, dito sa Volkswagen, they run the Fender system. So, very good, very nice. One of the best, siguro na sakyan ko na straight out of from the factory na the sound system. Let's uh, go about the mods. The mods. Uh, okay, for, first cosmetic mods. I did the Maxton chin. Maxton makes uh, body kits for Volkswagen vehicles. Shout out to Silverstone. Nakuha po natin yan sa Silverstone Motors. Uh, and then yung side skirts is uh, it's also made out of plastic, but it's not Maxton. It's different. I think it's uh, from the Golf. R, I think. Anyway, explain niya ng Silverstone Motors sa inyo. Lahat po yan nakuha natin sa Silverstone Motors. The wheels. So, we got uh, the wheels. Uh, it's a 19 inch. 19 inches. 8 by 5. I'm not sure about the offset. It's a BBS CHR. We got that uh, from a friend sa Volkswagen GTS Club po. Uh, it's running on uh, Falcon Azenis. Uh... 225 40 series opted to go the air suspension route as you can see nakada pa po siya sagad po yan nakabagsak po uh, naka -air, air suspension po siya care of shout out uh, fitment industries boss kyle sila po yung gumawa nung uh, air suspension ng golf uh, gts uh, and then lastly Performance wise, nagpa tune po tayo. Uh, we did an uh, ECU tune plus a uh, transmission uh, of uh, DSG po pala siya, by the way, transmission na DSG. And we, along with the ECU tune, we did the DSG tune care of uh, LM tuning. Shout out kay uh, Sir Hans ng LM tuning po. They tune so many, uh, they, they, they tune a lot of cars. So that's what we did. So it improved the performance. I haven't dynoed it, pero kumakamat po ang third gear. If you go manual mode, mapakamat po siya hanggang third gear. Uh, what else? Uh, yeah, I think that's it. Uh, it's a daily driver. I drive it every day when I go to the office. When we, I drive it uh, when, if, if we go out of town or if we, uh, if we have to go somewhere with my kid, with my wife, with anybody. So it's a daily driver. I do, uh, hindi po siya... Uh, garage queen or hindi rin siya uh, definitely hindi po siya sports car dahil wagon po siya it's a family car we use it uh, uh, as much as possible as much as we can we use it and uh, yun that's it shout out pala sa Volkswagen Club uh, Golf GTS Club they're, they're very uh, marami po kayong matututunan from that club and uh, they have uh, recently we did the run sa Subic and then sa Tagaytay uh, you'll meet a lot of uh, good people knowledgeable people and then uh, they'll help you out with your car and uh, yun nga, huwag po kayo matakot ng Volkswagen po uh, direct, ang recommended PMS lang po is once a year only once a year or 10,000 kilometers so you just go back to the casa uh, once a year lang and uh, hindi po siya ganong kamahal kumpara sa like Japanese brands you'll be surprised it's either because we also, uh, we also own a few Japanese and Korean brands Yung PMS costs po is either it's the same or just a little bit more expensive. Pero hindi po siya kasing mahal lang let's say mga BMW or uh, Mercedes na German cars. Uh, Volkswagen is a people's car. So hindi po siya high-end talaga. Pero ano naman siya? Maganda naman. Like, respectable, naman. respectable naman yung uh, the cars that they make. Alright, so attorney Ton, thank you so much for sharing the story behind this VW, what's it called? VW Golf. Golf. Uh, GTS uh, Filipinas, but uh, internationally known as a Golf Sport Wagon. Sport Wagon, uh -huh. So it's imported guys, it's, uh, yun nga, hindi mo siya mababay locally ngayon, ubus na. 
Yeah, nag-stop na sila ng <laughs> pagbebenta niyan. So, kung anon lang yung napasok oh, na kaya so, yun na lang. <laughs> ngayon din ko lang nalaman yung ganito niya sa akin. Yung story pala nito, inimport to from the US. Yes. It's made in Mexico. Apparently, back in the day, yung ginagawa ng Volkswagen in Mexico, may problem with the um, look. US EPA. Oh, yun. It's with the emission. Oh, the emission. Parang hindi raw pasado back in Mexico, back in US. Oh, dahil so, ang taas na standard nila doon. So ang ginawa, in-export na lang nung US to other countries. And correct, correct. Luckily enough, si Volkswagen Philippines nakakuha ng units. Nakapagpasok sila yes. during 2018. Uh, I think Tawa? they started mga 17 uh, 17, 16. 16, yan. Start na sila magpasok. So limited lang pala yun guys. Kasi nga, it just came from Mexico. Yeah. Tapos he's very lucky. One of, the, one of those who were able to purchase a unit. Uh, tapos kinento pa niya sa akin, super hirap daw maghanap nung time na yun. Lahat, yeah, nung, yun. lahat ng kasa tinawagan mo. <laughs> Para sa NCR, sa Manila. Oh. Uh, tumitingin na kami sa probinsya na kung sino yung meron pa baka sakali. Umabot na po siya, wala talaga. Everything uh. is sold out. So yun nga guys, kaya again, but super happy din ako na feature natin tong it's a wagon, it's a sports wagon, European car. Kasi it's super duper underrated here. Diba? Correct, correct. Hindi siya nag-feature, hindi siya napag-uusapan. <laughs> Uh, wala, pag sinabi mo Volkswagen tapos wagon pa, parang ang tingin eh, okay lang yan, di ba? <laughs> parang more on SUV tayo dito eh. Uh, But yeah. guys, like what attorney said, ang daming benefits mabibigay sa'yo correct, ng autong correct, to. You're correct. buying more of a car. The, the car can provide you so much more correct. compared to yung mga SUVs, ganyan. Tama. Sabi nga niya, it's for family but wagon kinuha niya kasi family man siya. He has a daughter, wife, mayaya pa. So lahat ka siya dyan. Yung the back space itself, yes. lahat ng gamit mo, pwede mong ilagay dyan. Yes. Tapos, hindi siya mataas. So, if you have a problem, with, same with problem with attorney, yung parking space is quite um, low, mababa. Mata uh, matarik. Pag matarik, matarik yung parking. Matarik, eh. tapos mababa yung ceiling. Mahirap nga naman sa SUV yun. Kahit sa mall, di ba? Kung pupunta ka sa basement, tata <laughs> hindi mo alam kung tatama ka dun oh. sa ceiling. Oh. So, guys, kung ganun ang situation mo, then you're looking to buy a car for your family. Why, why, why not, not uh, buy a wagon? wagon? Yeah, correct. Diba? Tama. Ako rin personally, gusto ko ng wagon. It's very beautiful for me, pero gusto ko yung 80s, 90s. Ganong style. Pero, I, would, I wouldn't mind getting a Leborg. Yan, uh, yan maganda yan. Legacy. Oh, correct, maganda diba? yan. Legacy maganda yan, kasi performance uh, yan. Correct. Uh, so guys, yung wagon kasi dito sa atin, medyo niche lang. Eh. So, yes. Under, understated, understated kasi. Eh. Understated eh. So, konti lang yung mga taong fan ng wagon. Yes. So, But, uh, you should try, people should try. Try nyo, try nyo, dahil okay siya. Dahil talagang everything's functional. Hindi siya pang functional. matanda lang. Hindi pang matanda. <laughs> Pwede sa edad natin. Pwede po siyang gawing ano. Ito, tapos. Bagets ng konti, pahit papasok. So, yan na. Nakuha niya na yung wagon. So, minodify pa niya. Actually, kita niyo, pinirita niya ng mags 19-inch BBS. So, Thanks to his group, baka kinukwento niya kanina yung yes, Volkswagen yes. Group. Volkswagen uh, Golf GTS Club Philippines. Of the Philippines. So, yun, nakikita ko rin sa Facebook niya, very active sila. Once in a while, they do runs. Ang members nito, nakikita ko nag-run sila mga 20 cars. Puro wagon, puro yeah. May Volkswagen. mga Jetta rin. Oh, may Jetta, may mga, diba? Uh, meron tayong Passat. <laughs> meron. Yeah. Yeah. Kompleto ba sa Volkswagen? So, active siya guys. So, you can get information from that group. It's a net network nyo with regards to VW. mag expand So, lahat ng kailangan yung parts, mods, nandun sa group na yun, matutulungan kayo. So, if you own a VW and medyo enthusiast ka, check that group out. Kasi yun din, ang, dun yung nakuha yung Mags, actually. Yes, sa, yes, One yes, of the owners. Yes, 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 Ayun. So, yun yung story ng Mags na yan. Kita nyo naman, bagay sa setting niya. And so, guys, pwede mo yun siyang paglaruan. Huwag kayo matakot na, ay, yes, yes, yes. So, wagon, wala akong magagawa. Tune. Daddy mode. Hindi, hindi, hindi. It's a very safe tune. Yeah, safe tune pa. So, someone's doing it. Ito nga, here's an example. So, try it out. Then, my favorite mode, of course, let's go to the air suspension, yes. you guys. Okay. Wala ko alam sa air suspension, but ang, ang ano ko dyan, ang tingin ko talaga sa air suspect, suspension, sakit ng ulo yan. <laughs> Lahat ng, well, talaga naman eh, dito sa atin eh. Pag sinabi mong air sus, bumabagsak lagi. Isa stranded ka, dahil hindi nag-work yung pumps. <laughs> Pag dinapa mo yan, nagkaka-problem ng yung pumps, parang inuubos yung battery, something like that. So, it's a huge mess. It's very expensive to maintain. But now, nasa age na tayo ng technology. Oh, Nag-improve na po nag yung ano. Nag na, na, na sa ating ng air suspension. And guys, ang gumawa nito is a fitment. Shout out, Sir Mag Kyle. Fitment in uh, Industry Engineering. Yeah. This guy is from Batangas. I don't know him. He doesn't know me. 
na so based lang sa kwento niya tapos I follow his videos sa YouTube channel. Kaya sa YouTube channel, Fitment, Fitment TV. Fitment TV, uh, nagiging kilala na rin siya like the works of Miss Angie King, one of the pioneers ng air suspension yes, sa Philippines. Siya yung, si Miss Angie yung unang nag-airsus ata sa Philippines. Yes, Kasi nagpasa. kilalang modifi, mo, nagbo-modify ng mga high-end cars yun. Yes. Eh, mga Porsches, mga Ferraris. Siya mga nag-unang nag-airsus. Then he met Kyle, the owner of uh, Fitment. Fitment yes. Super, yung nakita ko yung vlog ni Miss Angie just recently, super thankful siya kay Fitment. The ones doing it. Ang dami ko nang nakikita sa YouTube, lahat nagpapa-airsus. Why? First, mabababa mo siya ng sagat. Even while riding, setting 1, 2, 3, yeah. pwede kang mamili in your own choice. Suba po siya. Second, yung ride is mas ma-comfortable talaga ang air source. Kaya sa standard na coilovers. Coilovers, the wearing springs. Di ba mga stock ng luxury SUVs na air source? <laughs> Tama na, ano mga bins. Bakit? Kasi nga, mas um, comfortable ang ride ng air suspension. Pagka sa lubak, dinrive mo siya, hindi mo siya mararamdaman kasi walang friction. Because it uses air. Yun siya. Yun nga lang, ang hirap niya yung maintain. Dahil may equipment siya, may pump, yeah, it takes up space sa video. But guys, ngayon, si Fitment TV, napakagaling gumawa. Just watch his, his videos, malalaman mo. He's like a professor, tuturuan kayo rin. Greg, shout Kaya, out. ang dami na nagpapagawa sa kanya and attorney is one of them. Yes, so far, yes, happy ka naman. Oh, very happy, very happy. Uh, yeah, um, very co actually, very common na yung air suspension ngayon sa Philippines. There are a lot of uh, people doing it. Marami naman eh. Tingin lang kayo, marami dyan shop. Just make sure na magaling yung builder, make sure na maganda yung relationship nyo para in case may masira may eh, no? o may kailangan so, maintain. Pwede mo siya tawagan eh. Kausap, kausapin mo yung builder, ah, ganyan to, ganyan. Just uh, know your ano, know your builder and uh, talk to him. Tos, like uh, with Sir Kyle, okay naman siya kausap, napakabait. Tapos uh, in-explain naman niya lahat ng lahat kailangan. Lahat ng possible gawin. scenarios, tuturuan ka sa maintenance. Uh, yeah. Pero siyempre, medyo may pricey yan. Pero I think yeah. it's worth it naman. If you can afford it, then you gusto mo naman talaga. Yes. Don't be afraid. Ito, kaya nga namin finiture to para to encourage you guys na if you're thinking you want to go air sus. Mahal siya pero hindi siya ganun kamahal. Oo, oh, sakto lang actually. <laughs> no? Sakto lang, kaya yan. Pagtrabahuhan nyo para kaya. So you want to bug your car? <laughs> eh, sabi niya, di ba? <laughs> so ito na, may mga ginagawa na natin dito yan. Not just sa supercars, pwede na sa regular cars. Yes. Thanks to Fitment uh, Industries. Ayan, so sir, uh, thank you so much for today, for sharing your car, your story. Sana ma-impact natin yung audience. Yes. Those who are no looking into getting a VW or a wagon, ito na. So thank you guys for watching. Uh, please do subscribe to my channel. Help me out para like. just to spread this, uh, like. what we're doing here. Uh, it's just to get the other car enthusiasts together. Yun lang naman yung point nene. So peace out. Thank you.